Hey guys, what's there? And welcome back to another Pixelmon update here on the show. I know it just seems like the other day that we reviewed uh, the previous version, but we are on to a new Pixelmon update and a new feature has been added to the main game. And that being, and not my Mel Metal, that being a Pokestops. Pokestops have been added to Pixelmon. Apparently there was a side mod a ways back that you could install that did this, but now they've been added to the actual game itself now. And we're going to be, oh, Boss Puke and Muku, look at that. Uh, we are going to be checking these things out today. I will tell you where they spawn, how they function, and what you can get from them. But yeah, if you guys have been enjoying the Pixelmon content and updates on the channel, smash the like button for Mel Mel, subscribe if you're new, and uh, comment down below if you're excited for this update. Unfortunately, it's not the gym update that I predicted that we would get with uh, this version, but this is Pixelmon version 9.0.10. Um, and it's fun. It has added Pokestops and the loot tables to go along with them. So it's not like the structures. Don't worry. They, they have immediately added items to these. You can get items right off the bat. And this is what they look like as items. We have common, rare, and legendary. So we have three types of Pokestops that will, you could spin and get items from. Now, where they spawn is they have spawned at waypoint structure. So, this is what a waypoint structure looks like in your world. If you want to locate one, you can do slash locate space, pixelmon, colon, and then waypoint. And it will show you the nearest one. Now, I will say this is the nearest one I found. And I did go to a few others as well. And I did not actually see a Pokestop added. I pre-spawned these in just so you guys could see what they look like. And for the thumbnail purposes. But I could not actually find these naturally in the world. So, after I spin these and show you guys the loot they can give... I will fly around a little bit to see if I can find some naturally spotty ones, but I actually did fly around a bit already and I wasn't able to find them. So I don't know if they're bugged in this version, if you actually can't find them yet, or if they're just extremely rare. But based on what they do, I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't extremely rare. I didn't, I also looked a little bit in the config, but I didn't see anything regarding them. But let's, let's just uh, spin one, shall we? So this is the normal common one. So all you gotta do is right click it and it will give you some items. So I got five Pokeballs. Four burn heal and a silver lore casing. So those items will be given to you. I'm of course in creative, so I should probably go in survival for this. Uh, but you will see now that it's been spun, it says the Pokestop is currently on cooldown. Similar to how Pokestops work in Pokemon Go. If you guys have ever played or know of Pokemon Go, you'll know this is how you get items in that game is spinning Pokestops. So let's actually head over to the um this is supposed to be the rare one. So let's right-click it. And we were given four level balls. Five super potions, a gold lore casing, and three fairy gems. So, that's really cool as well. Also, noticing something strange. The items are not going into my inventory. They're just deleting. That might not be intended, but let's try the legendary Pokestop. And so, we were given four Ultra Balls. Wait, click to take item. Oh, so you... there? I'm clicking exit and it's just deleting it. So, you actually can select what you want to keep and what you don't want. So we got some Carbos, Gold Lore Casing, a Cracked Pot, and a Docile Mint. So that's how you get the items. You have to actually uh, tell it to take the items. You can't just sort of ex like leave the screen. Otherwise, it just deletes them. But that could be a cool, better way of doing it. I know a lot of people might get confused and accidentally like throw good items away. But that's actually a good way of doing it because that way um, you don't have full inventory. You can kind of just say, no, I just want this item. I guess that's kind of how the thing already has worked in the mod, but I, I was dumb and just clicked exit. So that's a my B. But I'm not entirely sure how long it takes these to, to cool down or reset. Uh, I didn't see anything about that on, on the page and they haven't updated the Wikipedia link yet. So, or like their, their wiki link for their um, page. So I don't actually know um, any more statistics about the Pokestops, but what I will do is go into creative mode and I want to actually see the max stuff you can get from legendary loot because you guys don't really care about common or uncommon. You want to see legendary. So I'm going to put a bunch of these down and we're going to check some of them out. So, okay. Beast balls. That's pretty good. Uh, dream balls. Nice. All <laughs> ancient ultra balls. Very nice. So also got some PP max and stuff. And I'm sure you guys can see some of the other cool items you are getting from this beast balls again, beast balls again, some max potions and also some XP candy, firestone, quick balls. So you'll want to get the purple pokey stop. That's, that's the one that you want to get the most of. That is the, that is the one you want to find. Uh, let's spin a little bit more and then we can move on. So we got some full restores. Beast Balls, again, Beast Balls seem very common to get from the uh, Legendary one, which makes sense. Uh, we got some Jet Balls, nice. Rare Candy as well, I saw. Uh, XP Candy, all Flower Sweet, uh, Ultra Balls. 
And I'm so I know why they're doing this, um, because they've added so many new things into Pixelmon now, like items wise, that simply <laughs> S simply just killing bosses isn't enough to get the loot so this is a way of you know fixing that and considering it's been how long has this been re this been recording so far five minutes and the first pokestop I spawn has not reset yet i'm that whalemer is on land uh i'm willing to bet it is going to take a while for them to reset but i will just to prove to you that they if they spawn in villagers or not i will go to the nearest village just to show you guys really quickly um, this is what the village currently looks like. I don't know if you guys have been following, but they, they, the village is like the most updated thing here in Pixelmon right now, but it does not appear like Pokestops do spawn here. Like I said, they can only spawn at that waypoint place and the nearest one that I've been locating is just the, the ones that haven't had them. So like I said, I will fly around and I'll read some more notes. Uh, so in terms of changes, they include the client and server performance on internals. Uh, sheep Pokemon such as Wooloo, Double, and Mareeple now drop 6 to 8 wool upon shearing them. Because you guys know you can shear the uh, sheep. There's also a raid den over here, but it doesn't look like I see a Pokestop at all. Um, it would be cool if there was a Pokestop that could spawn at the raid dens too. But it seems like right now Pokestops, while they are added, they do have an extremely rare chance of appearing. Or, I'm, or they're just glitched and not appearing at all right now. Uh, but I'm more willing to bet that they just are rare. Uh, I doubt they would make a whole update out of these things than, than they aren't even added in, you know what I mean? Wait, what is this? Is this a one? Oh, this is another waypoint thing. So yeah, this is what the waypoints will look like in your world, but there's supposed to be Pokestops here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there are. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what the deal is. Um, and of course there were some bug fixes as well as, uh, some new translations added and stuff, but this is pretty much a small update. Not exactly what I expected from the, the 9.10 update pretty much, but it, I mean, there, I have no complaints though. It's a, it's another cool thing added into the mod. Some more things you can find in your world. I do hope it's not glitched. I hope these actually do spawn in your world. Somebody let me know in the comments if you're playing in the newest version, if you are encountering the, uh, the Pokestops in your world or if, if you're not finding any either i'm curious to know there's a chance that they're just not spawning and they're gonna have to release another pixelmon update fixing it uh if they do release pixelmon update and it's just fixing pokestops uh i'm i guess i'll make a video on it i'm not sure but this update kind of came out of nowhere i didn't expect a pixelmon update this fast so also is this another raid is this a raid den or a i think it's a raid den yeah it's a raid den but yeah, that is going to do it for this Pixelmon update. I do hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. The down for Pixelmon will be in the description. You can check it out for yourselves. Uh, I do recommend updating this version, even if po Pokestops are, may or may not be not spawning. Because it's always good being on the most recent version of Pixelmon to get some of the bug fixes out of the way, etc. To help the mod run all the more smoothly. But yeah, that's going to do it. I hope it was informative to you nonetheless. Smash the like button for Pix for Pokestops getting added into Pixelmon. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.